In this class, we'll get familiar with the Mac system interface and functions. We also are going to learn about some customization options to facilitate design work. As you learn in the complimentary Introducing 3DS Max course, the interface is divided into sections, and each is responsible for specific actions. Each group provides visual and organizational tools to facilitate inputting user-defined settings. We can see some of these tools on the customized menu which provides some options for defining color. Name and tool shortcuts, each one tagged for its own menu option. The keyboard option makes changes in keyboard shortcuts. We can select a group, category, function, and shortcuts for attributes to facilitate your modeling process. And in color, we change the element color in the scene. As we explained in the example on Scale Gizmo, we can change the default colors, which are X red, Y green, and Z blue, to whatever you like. We're going to change only the X axis and change the color in the color field. After that, we will change some visual and function tools in the interface to get familiar with the Max tool options. Getting back to the customized menu, see the Show UI option. We can add or remove toolbars in the interface here. See what happens when we unselect an item on the Hide Toolbar menu. Now let's input some settings in the design. You also see the Configure User Paths option on the Customize menu. This tool really facilitates our work in 3DS Max as we can define the folders on this screen where files are saved for the current design. As a default setting, the software creates several folders based on each action. These folders are located in My Documents in the computer, but we can also define another path so they are saved elsewhere. The Render Output option is for attributing another folder path to this action. Click Modify and select the Output folder. Click Use Path and then OK for confirmation. Now let's access the Render Setup and access the Render Output group, and then click Files. See, the folder is now open that was specified on the Configure User Paths screen. And the other actions displayed on the Configure User Paths screen can be modified as you like. So in this class, we have learned about tools helping us to do professional design work. 
in some cases these tools are only visual, but others help to define functions which need to be executed.